Hey y'all, come look at this. You know, Relsi's Movie 2 could be releasing any day now. Do you know what that means? Everyone is scrambling to share their ideas for the games in hopes of having it added before release. What's up Goblin Nation, it's Gibby and I got some ideas to share with you guys. Some of these are my ideas and some of these ideas were shared by viewers just like you. And I'm gonna be honest, some of y'all were cooking. And some of you weren't. Don't forget to drop a like while you're here because my boy Hypnos hit 600 subs and I'm starting to freak out a little. If he passes me, I have to delete my YouTube channel, so subscribe and buckle in because delicious times are ahead. You should sub to his channel too, so his content's actually pretty good. Let's start off with a suggestion from the Rel Discord. This one is about natural fruit counters. So basically, uh, this would be like natural immunities, you know, like rubber is immune to lightning, that kind of thing. You know, magma is uh, hotter than fire, so it has resistance. This one's pretty good if they flush it out, but I could see this being really annoying if you just get unlucky and bump into someone with a fruit that's better th against yours, you know? Although it kind of adds immersion to the world, so you can actually go more into hockey in order to counter this. I think I'm leaning more towards it because it adds more immersion to the world, you know? It makes the world more realistic similar to how it would be in the show. I think the only thing I would ask for is that they keep it like kind of rare, you know? Like if you're using fire and then like ice is good against it, so is magma, so is sand because it's like dirt, you know? That would just make fire really bad. So I don't know. I mean, that's just an example, obviously, but there might be others that work that way. So I don't know. I'd give this one like a three out of five. And next up, we have one of the worst ideas I've ever seen. This one asks all gold and silver subscribers to get free devil fruit, you know, because, you know, Ro Roblox just isn't pay to win enough, you know, like sometimes you just really need to like be handed a trophy. So they already said devil fruit are going to be incredibly rare in this game. So let's just give gold members one to start. You know, that's not going to affect it at all. This is just absolute proof that some of you guys should never cook. When I said some of these are bad, I meant some of these are bad. You can see him getting cooked right here in the replies. And then he doubles down and gets defensive at the end like always this is a zero out of five this one is so bad if you were in my server i'd ban you next up we have another idea i actually like this one is armor weight so this would mean that the armors uh depending on how much armor it has will have more weight so it'll slow you down if it's really good armor and it'll be lighter and you know more agile if it's really weak this is to make like quicker lighter builds actually make sense and to stop everyone from using really heavy armor i think the game might start looking kind of boring if everyone's just wearing like full plate knight armor for the defense so this this keeps things interesting i actually like this idea a lot next up we have one of the greatest ideas i've ever seen this one's about variable mount sizes basically it's similar to how in sword burst 3 when you get a mount they can have different sizes so you'd get a really small version or a really big one they could also make them have different speeds but honestly i think all mounts are going to have the same speed i'm not sure how they're going to do it but adding all these variables really makes it so you can have more rare versions of already rare things. Really adds the grind without like making it not rewarding at all when you don't get a drop. This way, even if you get a, a worse version of a mount, it's still a, like a rare mount, you know? So that way it's like a double rarity thing going on. This leads into another suggestion I have, or I guess it's more of a request. I just really want the rare stuff in this game to actually be rare. You know, like if it has a 10% drop rate, everyone's going to get it. And I know in Shindle Life, some of the rare drops are actually really hard to get. I think it's just way, it's way more fun to show stuff off if like you're the only one in your friend group that got something because it's so rare, you know? This goes for skins or mounts or anything like that, especially cosmetics because they aren't as overpowered or unbalanced. Aside from the actual gameplay being enjoyable, I think grinding for things is what's going to keep this game alive. Is everyone looking for their dream fruit or, you know, their favorite mount or trying to get like a really rare drop? I'd probably give both these suggestions like a 10 out of 5. You know, whoever wrote these is genius. I think their name is like spelled like Jibrin or something. The next idea we have is the ability to remove your devil fruit or switch to another one. So in this one, he kind of comes up with a really complicated way involving like a machine that Vegapunk has. And you'd have to like get it as a rare drop and then use it to switch your devil fruit. This really seems like fan fiction to be honest. Just, <laughs> just how much is written. Like doing a whole quest to swap your fruit sounds really annoying. I much prefer this idea. It's really simple. It just adds a fruit into the world that removes devil fruit. Similar to the way the Lokaka fruit work in some of the JoJo games where it removes your stand. I think this is great because it adds it to the treasure pool so you can trade it to people and it's super valuable. And it's basically like getting another devil fruit, you know? It's like, it, it fits in the world really well. Like, it's just, you could find it, you can just get it out of a chest. It feels really natural and I, I think it's way more simple. And we're back to the weird suggestions. Why do you guys keep suggesting alcohol and like illegal drugs you know like that kind of stuff you know this is a, a kids game right like they have to get like 17 plus rating and that would really affect their their sales i saw a couple of these and i, I feel like i just had to say something i know you're probably not going to see this whoever wrote this but like why do you need the alcohol so bad 
You know what I mean? Like, it's it's One Piece. Chill out, bro. This is kind of like when uh th they were first taking suggestions and someone said they should add boobs. You know, like in One Piece. And it's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> you clearly don't know what kind of game we're playing. Oh, and here's another idea I absolutely hate. This one, allow <laughs> this one suggests allowing us to move stat points around. So you would level up wood cutting and then move those stat points to lock picking. This is like the worst idea I've ever heard. I know I said that earlier, but this like gets rid of the entire system. Why even like level lock picking if you can just wood cut? It's like the point is that you have to level these up by doing them. And if you just like wood cut trees for like eight hours and then moved it over to like, you know, fishing. It's like, what's the point then? What's, what, what's even the point? You're like, you're taking the content away from yourself. It just, it's such a bad idea. It's like, what, you really don't want to do all the activities? You don't have to level them all. I'm someone who really enjoys leveling these side mechanics like fishing and, you know, cooking and that kind of thing. So to me, this almost feels like if you could level Marines by being a pirate. You know what I mean? Like, it's so weird. Completely ruins the gameplay. Zero out of ten. Okay, this next idea is actually brilliant. Batman Devil Fruit. Do I have to say any more? Like... It, it speaks for itself. It's, it's Batman, you know, like it's perfect. Why would I use any other devil fruit when I could just be Batman? Uh, oh, here's another idea I actually like. This one's called Book of Fruits. It, it took me a while to understand what they even meant. Basically, they want an encyclopedia of the different devil fruit. I think this one's cool because they have one in One Piece, so they explain like all the devil fruit and, you know, their names and everything. And especially in a game like this, this would be really useful as like a codex so you could see like you know what the devil fruit do maybe their moves i'm not sure how that would work and then you know you know which one you want to have especially for people that like aren't really big on one piece because i know a lot of roblox players aren't that big into one piece they just like play the games you know because they're on roblox and next up we have the last good idea of the video this one's called fruit variations this is basically like a way to make uh canon skins for the fruit they've already basically confirmed that they're going to do devil fruit skins but i like the way that this one rationalizes it in the world of one piece because the way Vegapunk made a dragon fruit that looked different really opens the world up to having different colored fruit of like, you know, you could even do a Logia like, you know, they say in the suggestions. I'm personally looking for the phoenix fruit when the game comes out, but don't tell me it wouldn't look cool to see a red or a green phoenix. I think that's probably my favorite version of skins if they ever do make any. It's just recolors that like, you know, go off a theme or like an idea. They got me a little worried when they were talking about their skins in their last dev vlog when they showed off the Allosaurus. They mentioned a Godzilla skin and I feel like that would just look so weird in this game. Like I I like Godzilla as much as the next guy, but like seeing it in one piece would be so weird. Honestly, I'd say there were more good ideas than bad this time around. The last time you guys had some truly terrible ideas, and I guess you did this time too, so not much changes. You guys suck. Unless you're my viewers, in which case you guys are great, and uh, all your ideas are very good. So join the Discord if you haven't. You can always post your suggestions there and uh, discuss real seeds with other people that are really into the game that isn't out yet. Man, I swear, every time I look at the subscriptions in the actual real seeds Discord, half of the suggestions are confirmed already. And that, it bugs me to no end. Like, people just don't check. Someone suggested save slots. I'm like, are you, are, did you even watch the video? Like, it's like, in the, in the first, like, 10 seconds, you can see the save slots. So weird. It blows my mind that people will pay for the subscription, but then not watch the sneaks when they come out. What are you spending money for? Someone take someone take their mom's credit card away from them. They're gonna like, they're gonna drive them bankrupt. They probably have like three accounts because they're so dumb that they just like, you know, input the credit card and then just like made three Discord accounts, thinking they get three times the information somehow. If only they were subscribed to Jibrin, who could keep them up to date on all Relsi's news and content, and subscribe so they didn't miss out and you know get all their up to date information from the best YouTuber uh, on on Relsi is uh, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm uh, out.